Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. Well, Carrie from Very Carrie had invited me and Tamala from Hot on Design to share with you guys of where do we store it all. What am I talking about? Those huge entertainment pieces that, well, maybe most of us may have. We wanted to share with you guys some of our tips and ideas on how and where to store all of those entertainment pieces in your home. But before I give you a tour, I wanted to bring your attention to over here. What you see here is all of my table linens, my napkins, my runners, my placemats. I have them all hanging on an over-the-door shoe rack. That's right, a shoe rack. This has been working out so well for me because I entertain a lot and I need to have quick accessibility to when I need it. <laughs> so I've, I decided to hang them on the shoe rack. And what I like about this shoe rack is that it has double bars. You see there? So I have plenty of room to grow, as you can see, and it's been working out pretty good. Now, as far as my placemats, I have them on top of a, actually I'm hanging on uh, some hangers. Those are pant hangers that you see there, and they have a little felt. I don't know if you can see that. They have felt on the hangers. I didn't want to use the ones with the clips on it because, you know, I didn't want it to leave creases. This way, that will leave my napkins and my, I'm sorry, my placemats crease free. So that's been pretty good so far. So let me take you inside. So here's my walk-in closet. Now here is... The color of this this closet is called Oslo Blue and it's by Bear Paint and I know I painted the closet. I know it's just a closet but this is my happy place. I walk inside and I'm happy. <laughs> so I painted it blue and I like how it turned out. Now this closet, like I said, it was a storage closet and it had one of those wire racks that went around the perimeter of the closet. That wasn't working out for me because of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to store my things. So I had the husband rip it out and put in some adjustable shelving. And it's been pretty good so far. <laughs> it's better than the wire racks in my opinion, for me anyway. And it, you know, it turned out pretty good. We used MDF and oh, my husband, because I'm terrible at math, he had measured and got all the right uh, measurements to put the shelving in and I had the job of painting the shelving white. Lucky me. But it was all worth it. It turned out great. So another tip for you guys, if you have a closet like that, because most of those closets with the wire racks, they're like eye level. You know, use the space that are, that is up above. See all that space that's up there? That was wasted space that was just sitting there. Wasted real estate. And I had the husband put some shelving up there. As you can see, I have a lot of my bulky pieces. And as you can see, too, this is all my summer stuff because fall is coming. So I put all of my summer things up there. This way they're safe and out of the way and nothing can happen to them. Over here is a tiered dish I have up there. And those are my stackable jars that are so delicate. I didn't want to keep them on the bottom. I want them up and high and safe out of the way. The second shelf is where I keep all of my, well, not all of it, but as you can see, I have a lot of like items together. I keep some of my Christmas stuff up here. Those are my Christmas uh, trees that I got last year off season. I have them there. I have some of my silver, some of my mason jars, and my, my beverage containers here, dispensers there. Over here, I have my cake dish that I have and my hurricane lamps that I got. As you can see, the tags are still on them because, you know, I'm a thrifty shopper. A lot of these pieces that you see, well, not all of them, but most of them are from thrift shopping. I shop flea markets, garage sales, and I get a lot of these things for little or nothing. Like, for example, here, I got this for $3 for the pair, and I just think they're beautiful. I have them sitting here next to, to my other silver pieces. This is another piece, this tiered tray. This is also, well, that's new because, you know, thrift shopping leaves me room to splurge a little bit and that's what I've done. So there's are my silver pieces. I have another row of silver. This is my beverage containers that I have here. These are the fancy ones. There's a bigger one there. It's perfect for storing the bigger pieces because, you know, I, I had, prior I had them just kind of stacked on top of one another and it just wasn't working out for me. So I decided to put some shelving in. Over here, the last row here, is some more silver pieces that I have. My shaver dishes, which I use often, keep food warm. This cake platter here, this is what I got from the cake stand, I'm sorry. I got it for a wedding gift, my husband and I, and I use it once a year to celebrate me and my husband's marriage. 
really like that. Up here is where I keep some of my pictures. Here are some of my dishes that I have here. I keep some of my dishes and my glasses. I keep the ones that I don't use a lot here because it's so it can free up some of the space in my kitchen cabinets because I just have so much of everything and I really need that extra storage in my kitchen. So I use, like I said, I don't use these often so I have them here. Over here is my stackable bins that I got from a place called At Home. Have you guys ever heard of At Home? It used to be called Garden Ridge and I loved Garden Ridge and they took it away but they brought it back as At Home and I'm absolutely loving me some At Home. So this is where I store my paper straws, my plastic silverware there and here's another bin that I have my plastic silverware in which I like. It's an acrylic clear bin. You can see everything. It's easy to get to. And you can also put it on a buffet and just kind of serve it straight out of the box because it's out of the container rather because it's it's pretty. Over here, this is a, believe it or not, a cosmetic storage container. I'm using it to store all of my little things like my salt and pepper shakers there, my tasting spoons, napkins, and my uh, my food labels here. Sorry. And some tea lights there. And, here, and it has little drawers that open. And there are my napkin rings and then here are my cheese labels there this let me see this shelf right here is where I have some of my tiered racks here I got this rack from because I get a lot of questions on it I got it from Pier 1 and you know don't pay full price for it they always have coupons I you know I think a 20% coupon that you guys could use sometimes don't pay full price. Use a coupon. <laughs> and here's another tiered rack that I have. I like to use tiered racks a lot. You'll see that in a lot of things that I do because it frees up a lot of space when you're serving and if it's on a buffet stand or on a buffet table, this is perfect because it frees up a lot of your countertop space. There's a piece of greenery there. And over here I have my serving trays. And believe it or not, I have them standing. If they look kind of like too neat to be standing there like that, <laughs> I have them standing on bookends. Bookends, that's right. And you can see details on my blog at be my guest with Denise .com of, you know, just bookends. And it's, it's, they have them standing up pretty good. Now, prior, I used to have them up up top, but that was just a disaster because every time I would pull one out, I risked killing myself. So I decided to put them here on the floor. And here, I, as you can see, I have room for my tiered racks, and I have I have about three more, but they're 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 in use right now, so I keep them here. So I hope this has worked out for you guys. I hope that you can use and utilize some of these ideas in your home or in your space. And once again, you know, check out Tamla's video and Carrie's video. I'll have the links inside my description box. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll be talking to you guys soon, my friends. Bye.